back in the green room. <laughs> Look, man, it, I, I'm, a, I'm a zoner player. Through and through, you just play the Belmonts and still play Young Link. It's when you get that pocket and ooh, ooh. Falco. I like the spacey pick coming in against Isabel. It gives you a lot of ways to counteract some of those more frustrating options like the fair, you know, the fair and the bear. But it's all about keeping your advantage and keeping these combos rolling against Isabel. The combos rolling is going to be the most important part. Isabel has a couple of weird uh, openers that people often forget about. She's got her side B that sits neutral, still has a hitbox if you walk into it. It can get people off guard pretty aggressively. Now, at that same time, she becomes a statue. So there, there's an up and a down to it, no doubt. 68% well, on the board here. Go ahead, what were you going to say? Oh, no, it's no problem. I was going to say, the one thing that Isabel has to worry about as well is that you basically are kind of hidden into trying to keep the Falco at ledge, and you have so many yeah. good gap closers as Falco you can see right now. We, Megan is just getting oppressed by a lot of these illusions to break in through that zone. And it's all about trying to create that space and get away from Smooth. But Ooh. F Smash connects and already on the board early for Smooth. That's exactly what Smooth wants to do for Iona. Probably not going to have a three stock already sitting at 90%. I think that would be pretty difficult. But walking away with two or even that one is important because, like you mentioned earlier, Ducks, it's one point per stock that you get in the best of three. And then if you win the best of three, you get an additional two points. So, er... Rather, it's how many stocks you have left when you win. That's that's a more important distinction. I love the side B off stage there. It really makes it difficult for vertical recoverers to get back onto the stage. Now, unfortunately for Isabel, Falco certainly does not recover vertically very often. <laughs> not too often, but such that jump height as well is so beneficial for Falco. But man, that narrow actually almost closed out, but good DI coming in for two. But no, the fishing pole closes out. Good job from Egan to keep that stock going. I think one thing we can maybe see come into better play that is using your zoning tools to at least deter that illusion to break sure. in the zone. Sure, I think that could absolutely work. Oh, great laser there. I'm going to be able to catch Egan off stage. The balloons, both, the balloons have both been destroyed both times Egan has recovered, <laughs> but they've just been close enough to be able to grab ledge. It's a very scary spot to be in. A phenomenal uh, up combo there coming up from Egan. The gyro is going to be missed, though. Not able to find any value. And Egan goes for another setup. Reads the side special with Smooth. Does put themselves out on top. 120. Board air gets the spike out, but not enough to take the stock. Back onto kind of the ledge. I like the I like the jump there, the mix-up of getting up. Yeah, I like jumping as the jump as well, but oh man, reflecting the slingshot is such a brutal call out with that frame one reflector. Yeah. And fat and smooth still in a pretty commanding lead. If he can close this out without dropping another stock, that puts a pretty nice little lead on the board for Ionia. And frame one reflector is actually so scary, Ducks. You are so right. Like, that is terrifying. Yeah. And the use of it from Smooth was incredible. Like you said, there's a very real chance of being able to put that uh, third stock away off Egan before losing their second. And two points on the board for Iona is absolutely what they're looking for. Already trying to find that aerial combo. A great lineup there. Doesn't find the back air, but still has essentially closed the gap in its entirety. Now a full stock in the lead looking to send Egan into that blast zone. Oh, what a soft hit. Disrupts the combo. Not able to find that stock. Doing a real good job so far. I like how Smooth is actually setting up these platform resets, but again, doing a much better job than I thought of actually deterring some of these advances using maybe a dare or something else to try and break through that neutral. But Smooth still committing to these phantoms. I wonder if there's any other creative way that he can get in in neutral. Neutral has been a difficult place to be. These lasers really coming in handy for Smooth. 109 to 99, the fast fall of a lifetime from Smooth there. Does take that second stock off the board. And just like that, the door has been open. Or Egg in the pot misses. It's going to be able to find a little bit more. I like the slingshot a lot. It feels like Smooth doesn't want to keep risking the reflector. Instead, it wants to close the gap and the gap may be closed here Ooh, guy road gonna be missed there misses from egan as well and smooth getting a little desperate for this kill yeah smooth is definitely getting a little antsy for the kill right now you're starting to reach those percents where you get a little bit worried that you're getting out of the range where you can get an easy bait kill confirmed but that Ooh! speak of the devil and it shall come phantom into the back air falco has such explosive kill power that was a very strong play coming out from Smooth there. Looking smooth, may I say. It took maybe a little <laughs> bit longer than they may have wanted. There was an unfortunate fast fall somewhere in the middle. But hey, a win is a win regardless. You put one point on the board for Iona. If you can win again, you get two additional points for winning the best of three. And that's the lead we're looking for from this team against Niagara. I think there's one thing that we almost didn't hit on right, right away. And that is... I do not want to give Falco tri-flats, man. That is yeah, so very true. terrifying. We hit on it just a little bit where I where we had Smooth constantly resetting using those dares. 
as a zoner player, look, Young Link, I don't want to see Falco just as much as I want to see Isabel taking away my projectiles, but when you have those constant resets and the ability to just keep you in disadvantage and spin, 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 spin yeah. your advantage, it's so hard to come back into the game. It can definitely be difficult to return to the game. And as we go into set number two, I think we're waiting for bans. They're okay, mm -hmm. final destination, Kalos and Town, off the table. No triplats were banned. I think we can kind of see why a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be probably a triplat again. I'm trying to think where we can be going. We can be going to Smashville, we can be going to uh Battlefield, small battlefield. Kalos, I think, was banned. Yes, I know Kalos. I I don't know. Right now I just know you definitely, like you said, Ducks, want to be avoiding this triplat or it can yeah. feel disaster for Egan. Yeah, you wanna avoid the triplats, but I'm also trying to wonder. What do you do to try and stop, like at least alter the tide of the game where you can at yeah. least control the tempo? Because right now we saw the biggest thing was if you are able to set up advantage and push and push and push and it basically enforce your will onto the opponent, great. You can start the neutral game and start coming back as Isabel. But yeah. as Falco, when you gap close and get over the Lloyd hurdle, well, now it's just a combo game. That up tilt, the second it connects, is a nightmare to play against. Absolutely, and I'm just keeping a close eye on this. Okay, small battlefield. My prediction was correct. I did Ooh. throw on four maps, but I'm still gonna count it. We do get small battlefield, so no longer a tri-plat, only a duo plat, but I think the same threat still stands here, Ducks, of Falco being able to in engage or open up a lot of those combos off stage, off ledge, which is exactly what we saw happening mm -hmm. a lot from Smooth. We saw the forward air more than I think any other move from Falco. But that is so good at setting up those off stage chases where you can basically just put Isabel in a disadvantage spiral and then great. You have one path of recovery double balloon up hope for the best but if you're not able to connect yeah sorry dude tough luck but <laughs> tough luck indeed but we're going to small battlefield i do like the chances here as isabel we're condensing that stage and finding less yeah. ways to approach i think if smooth does overcommit, we saw a heavy heavy use oh. of the side b if that starts to become the crush. Okay, never mind. Laser cannon. <laughs> Laser cannon four times out the gate, but luckily enough, Egan does get a little bit wiser to it. 27%, a 20% lead. It is a strong start. The slingshot trying to close the space, but if you get close enough, Smooth isn't going to let you get away with it very often. That's a classic Isabel combo we've seen a few times from Egan there, and I think it buys you like 12 to 18% somewhere in that radius. It feels like Egan is trying to utilize those basics, those fundamentals, a little bit more. Yeah, and doing a good job at that right now, you can see how Egan's basically utilizing these platforms to set up a way to zone using the fair and the bear trying to just set up the nair is also doing a great job some nice up air strings continuing out and i just like how this pressure is setting up if you're recovering under the stage and know that fishing rod is out it's a huge trap and smooth is in a real tough spot Smooth, 147 already. A great adaptation from Egg in between rounds. Tries to go for the umbrella, can't find it. Side special in. There's the forward air once again, getting Isabel off stage. Exactly where Smooth wants her to be. Reads the uh, side special, gets the grab back throw, and finds that stock first. Egg for the first time in this series, finding themselves in a stock advantage. Doing a good job right now, at least trying to slow down this gameplay. Smooth starting to overextend just a little bit, Seth. Right now, it looks like they're trying to find any way to get a combo starter. And with these unsafe side bees onto shield, Higgins able to finally find some control. And holy smoke, 63%. 63, now up to 67. Egan, if they can find the second stock before losing their first, they're absolutely going to be feel comfortable in taking us to uh, probably a match number three. But Smooth turning the tides in their own favor, trying to get Egan off stage, has it, gets the fishing rod read, misses the attack onto stage, and falls just a little short. That umbrella really becoming uh, Smooth's nemesis. Yeah, and it's just been so hard for Smooth to get around some of these new boxes and at least find these kill confirms. The percent just keeps climbing and climbing right now, but Smooth really is starting to fish for these kill confirms. We see a whiffed up smash, and it's been so hard for him to get off ledge, but finally equalizes at 102. Equalizer on the board, 114 now. So you've separated the stocks. You've tied us up back two to two, but you've got a 140% disadvantage. Oh, the weak hit of the hammer, not able to find anything. Instead, sets Egan up to be comboed. Not a circumstance you want to be in. Smooth only finding 40% in that. Honestly, kind of on the low side of what I expected from that combo. Apparently, it's not over though, so we can't count it yet. What a play there, deflecting Whoa. the deflecting the fishing rod, taking out both balloons, not once, but twice to find that stock. That is smooth being smooth. Very well done. 
What a good coverage option as well on Seriously. the side of Smooth to bring back the game right when you think it's being sp it's spiraling out of control for Smooth. I, but again, these Phantoms are just getting covered by the fishing rod. I mean, not the fishing rod, the umbrella. I'm getting confused with my household <laughs> weapons at this point. Yeah, um, you can't, I can't blame you. I mean, that's all she's got. It's just a various myriad of household items used as weaponry. <laughs> but um, I, we, I do like to see how this is playing overall right now for Smooth. Okay, never mind. The Lloyd just takes us out. That is a such a powerful option in neutral. But there is a good chance right now that I think we can see Spook just start reigning back control, especially so. when it comes into combo starters. And right now, the grab is the perfect window to start. Has the grab. Going to get caught by a lot of aerial attacks. Oh, no. no. Unfortunately, that is the second of six socks we have seen Smooth take by their own hand, and that is easily the most important of the six we've seen. I I think if Smooth doesn't fall off stage, they win the set, but unfortunately they don't. Hindsight's 2020, and now we're tied up 1-1, winner take all for game number one. Yeah, and I think we've talked about this before a couple times, Seth, where unforced errors are just such a killer, especially when in a matter where every stock counts. So now... Mm -hmm. This is, this is a huge tempo set game in game three. You walk away with a point advantage, but it also sets a tone. It's like, okay, we walked away, solid game three. Right. Now we can at least establish a tone and move forward. Establishing a tone is what it's about. And the tone I'm getting right now, you know, the, the mood, the vibe that I'm feeling is this could be a very close series. Closer than I personally thought it was going to be going in. But I always said at the beginning, folks, these teams are tied for fifth place right now. They have identical season scores. They've clearly been running some similar games, some similar seasons. That's going to be a tough moment for the side of Iona. But Niagara, as a wise man once said, we absolutely take those. You got one. You've got a set. You've tied it up one to one. You've got to do that one more time. Or I guess three. You got to take all three stocks. But Egan showed a lot of basic improvement from game one to game two. And if that pattern continues, game three can absolutely be theirs. And I think the other thing that Egan did was utilize the stage to a much better effect. Mm -hmm than previous look falco on battlefield i'm just going to say as a blanket statement you really don't want to give him that chance to have those resets yeah. have the ability to lock down the stage control especially with such an oppressive jump but by condensing that stage forcing a linear approach option i really like how Egan was able to shape up their gameplay overall yeah we just got a confirmation they're taking a little bit of time to decide the stage bands here and i think that makes a lot of sense you know this is where one of the teams takes a lead that tide may never be shifted for the rest of the series so mm -hmm. we want to really make sure they choose the proper stages i'm gonna guess we're seeing isabel and falco again they've been very close every time i think we're gonna get maybe a not not a salty <laughs> run back but a run back nonetheless and going into that i feel like maybe you ban like battlefield we talked about that already it would mm -hmm. be interesting to see final destination i think that can make a lot of sense for isabel at least makes it a little harder for falco to get above you and maybe even when he is above I again that feels like where Egan's actually thriving so maybe you don't go after you. maybe i take that back but hold hold the phone we actually just got a pretty interesting band coming in yeah we got smashville final destination and ps2 PS on the band two. list which unless there's there might be, I might need help from production on this, but if there is no DSR, run it back to Battlefield. Let's go. I, I feel like Battlefield may be where we, where we end up, whether it be classic Battlefield or small Battlefield. We've been living there this entire series so far, and I've got a hunch mm -hmm. it's where they're going to return. I'm, I'm definitely fascinated on the fact that they choose to ban both um, Smashville and PS2. I feel like those aren't particularly like, I don't want to play those style stages. I, I feel like those are stages where people can get a lot of value, but we talk about the importance of Triplats and Falco. Not a single triplat gets banned. Oh my goodness. Not a single triplat gets banned in the bands. You've got to wonder why. It might be something where Isabelle is more comfortable. They've started to adapt to the gameplay on the side of Smooth. That's so Megan isn't as worried about something where you're sitting there saying, okay, I, I'm not as worried about Battlefield. And right back to Battlefield, just like we think. Yeah, and we're going to be running it down. I mean, this is what we expect. This is where Falco has massive comfort and... I think something, something that we that people don't necessarily talk about is when you ban stages, a lot of the time people are like, I just don't want to play X person on this stage. But mm -hmm. sometimes there is benefit to your character playing on a stage that isn't necessarily advantageous every single sure. time on paper. If you have a great setup on Kalos, maybe you're a little more willing to take Captain Falcon to Kalos or Captain Falcon to Yoshi's. But 
There's always an exception to the rule, and I think that rule is Pikachu and Kalos, personally. Yeah, no, that's so real. You're so real for that, Ducks, <laughs> honestly. But we've got Isabel and Falco going head-to-head -head on regular Battlefield once again, so it is a rerun of game number one between these two. We did see Smooth come out on top of that with a one-stock win. That's where that point comes from for Iona. Niagara getting near one point from Eggins. Can't really call it a victory, as Smooth did SD pretty aggressively, but it's a point regardless, and the series is tied one-to-one. -one. The percentage is tied 40 to 44. Already, Egan has taken a mild disadvantage. Can they dig themselves out of it before the hole comes too big to get out of? It's so hard for them to just get off, get back to the ground right now. Mm -hmm. It's basically been smooth controlling the air this entire time, and it's been so oppressive for the both of them to just at least find any way to get back to the ground. 124, 138, and still alive. Okay, maybe not. Uh, scratch that. That's going to be that stock taken offline. That's a pretty huge lead for Smooth right now. Only 40% on their first stock, but we might as well say it's their second because Smooth has not gone a series without SDing once. So maybe we just kind of leave him at two stocks and wait for that to happen. Yeah, and I think the one thing that we're trying to see right now is the Smooth is at least trying to find some way to gain control, but we see these dash attacks coming out, and I think mm -hmm. that's just a little bit of an overcommitment from Egan at least trying to find any control that they can, but I like how Smooth is playing this very control, very reserved and trying to just at least maintain some tempo, but man, that fishing pole has just been the pain of Smooth's existence this entire set. Yeah, and every hit of the Lloyd as well is massive there. It made it really easy for Egan to get a lot of free damage onto Smooth. Misses the hammer, though. Doesn't go for the grab. Slingshot able to find just a single hit. Nair falls short. You want to get a grab. You want to go for a back throw. The vase misses as well. Neutral B spam for Smooth to keep that space. Seems to be working well as Egan just baiting their options, trying to decide what is the best course of action. And I'll tell you what, Ducks, you just said it. I'll say it again. It is not the dash attack. Yeah, the dash attack is just so committal right now. And mm -hmm. with that Lloyd pinning Smooth grab, to the corner, just grab. Oh, it's it's so oh. tough. You're so afraid of Falco finding that counter hit, mm -hmm. just like that down tilt. But it's so much riskier to let Falco jump out of the corner for free. Wow, even making it back on the stage at 155, full rage, not enough. The sentiment of that blast on a pretty weak hit from Isabel. Egan might lose their second stock before Smooth loses their first at this rate. Poor Egan can only get in cheap shots and hot pot shots, but cannot find that kill confirm yet. And again, Egan just still not able to close out the stock at 157. I feel like that's pretty uncharacteristic for Falco to be, yeah. you know, this high percentage this early. But there we go. <laughs> 182, it's a respectable amount of damage put on the board. It's a good chance it's the highest percent we'll see today. I feel like the highest we've seen in the last couple of weeks was only 190-something. So 182 really going that high with a Falco, like you said. And that's something we see every day. Egan close to the gap in stocks, but certainly not in percentages here. 141, just a single hit from death. Uses the air to get up and over, but there's the grab. Probably into forward to throw into two. Oh, no, just a full-blown jab. Going to drop it. Slingshot buys the space to get back on the stage. And Umbrella finally going to fall short. Wow. 166. Isabel Light is a feather right now. Yeah, it's holding on by just basically to a prayer at this point but it's anything at this point any move that connects will spell certain doom for both of you at least he is but wow that up till almost actually took the stock but the fair certainly will close out that stock Bear finally gets it, breaks the curse there. That's poor Smooth, couldn't find that stock. And the full stock in the lead, you're feeling very confident of putting Iona in the winner's seat of set number one of five, by the way. We've got eight more players in the wings after these two are done duking it out. These two taking it all the way. Grab into probably forward throw. I'd love to see a little bit of a different play style there. Maybe the fishing rod instead, but unfortunately not going to be working out. Might is going to find themselves up from that aerial. Great use of the Lloyd to save yourself from being comboed. 110. If you can take this stock before you hit, let's say, 60%, there's still a chance of winning here. But as you jump from 20 to 50 to 70, Spike oh. whips, and there is Smooth once again, taking their own stock a little too hungry for that elimination. Yeah, Smooth wanted a, a couple of style points to send them home, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. SDs with, you know, a little bit of overcommitment. And now, don't overcommit, Smooth. You're right in the driver's seat. Sends the up throw, and this is prime position for Falco to land a kill confirm. You've got to wonder if that single point that Smooth kind of put down the drain there is going to come back to bite Iona down the line. It's going to be a really interesting narrative to keep an eye on, because even with the win right now from Smooth, that's giving them four points in total. The next player from Niagara can absolutely close the gap if they find necessary. 133, full rage, absolutely still winnable for Egan, but you've got to be careful, because Falco is just waiting for half a decent combo to send you into that blast zone once again. 
That rage might come in handy if you can use it, but if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it, and this stock might be lost unless Egan can really shake things up. It just feels like a delay of the inevitable right now. Yeah, it feels like it's a little bit of a delay of the inevitable right now. There's just so many options that don't connect as efficiently as we would like, mm -hmm. and still holding on. Egan with insane DI to survive this. Holding on for a hero. So the morning light, but the laser sends them into the blast zone and says goodnight to Egan. Iona winning that first series. Only four points on the board here, Ducks. This is, it's a four to one. This is one of the lower scoring affairs we've seen in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, normally these earlier affairs are much more dynamic, a little more bombastic. Last week we saw a 7-0 at the beginning. It was almost a perfect run. I don't remember who it was, but I remember that it was a 7-0. So to go from that to